Hello, I wanted to reach out to all of you and just share a little about my personal experience with social distancing. Right now, here in Germany, people are very conscious of not you know, visiting other people, not talking to people too close, they are not visiting their parents or family members to protect them. So, on a higher level, there's a lot of linking and understanding. We really belong together and that viruses don't know any borders. They kind of just, you know, float around and go wherever they can. And so we have to kind of, you know, take care of each other, all, of everybody. So this is wonderful, but I just wanted to help you tune to maybe deeper levels of your heart. Even though you might be very active and creative and have new inspiring ideas and follow them, I'm quite sure there's a level of your heart where it doesn't feel so happy and inspired. And you can use your hands just to kind of Tune in a little, bringing your awareness into your heart. You can close your eyes or you can keep them open like you want. For me it's easier when I close my physical eyes and can turn both my physical eyes and my internal eyes down to the heart. Um, maybe you are very familiar with tuning into yourself and into your own heart. And if not so, you can tune into my heart. You might feel actually around here, there's like a little heaviness, a little that kind of feeling. It's not happy all over. No, there's a little heaviness, it's a little thick, it's not so vibrating out or to the sides. Now by me pointing that out, it actually changes because I'm starting to breathe, I'm starting to bring awareness there. Now just see if your own heart also has a certain sadness or heaviness, just like a little, I would call it like a little depressed feeling. Don't try to get rid of it, just stay with it. And where you can see my hands kind of holding it, honoring it. Honoring that part of the heart that feels that way, that's just how it is. We call this being with, with whatever it is. And just by being with it, breathing into it, information actually can start flowing, start revealing itself. You could even ask your heart part of the heart. Why are you sad? Because in daily life I feel like, no, it's fine. It's great that the world is turning in, that everything becomes more quiet. I feel inspired to do new things. But why? Why is this part so sad or heavy or feels blocked or so not in flow? Whatever it is. And then just wait, take several breaths into your heart and see what comes up. It's like the energy begins to live again.
to move again, to reveal information, frequencies. You can see my hands starting to kind of slightly open that area. Just giving it a little more space. So it feels more free to, in a way, talk to you. And when I tune to my heart, I can feel sadness. I feel the sadness of not being able to comfort my father, who is in a senior citizen home, in a way locked up, which he hates. <laughs> he cannot go outside into the sun. He can sit on the terrace, but not, that's not the same thing. He's desperate for you know, meeting us, talking to us, seeing us in person. And this guy just doesn't do the same thing. So in a way, that's not maybe not even my own sadness only, but also the sadness of my father, you know, having to stay with within the house, not being able to reach out, in a way being also afraid of the virus. You know. So in your own way, tune into that part of your heart that might be sad, maybe not. Maybe you're missing a friend that you would like to see and normally you meet and chat in a cafe. Or maybe you're worried because someone you know, you know, has the flu or the virus and is really fighting off the disease. And there is something that we even call the, the bleeding heart, the heart that is open and in tune with the world and the atmosphere of fear and anxiousness with all the people who are suffering from the virus. The part of our heart that is compassionate with all those who lost a beloved person because of the virus, or maybe for any other reason. So for a moment tune to what we call the bleeding heart, the very compassionate heart. And every time we check our app, the news, you know, the statistics, it in a way feeds information to that bleeding heart, and the bleeding heart then in a way, feels the pain, the emotions behind the numbers. So for a moment, check if you have that compassionate heart that is reaching out to the world. And for a moment, try out something that you might have, have not tried before, try to contain that bleeding heart. Try to kind of bring it back to you. It's not like you stop feeling, but you create, let's say, a more healthy boundary. It's like coming back more to yourself. It's like you feel the world and you might even say, I'm going to take time to maybe say a prayer or meditate on the world and on holding, let's say, the higher frequencies, the positive, or you might even feel, hey, I want to 
call someone. They have been on my mind for several days now, so let's do something about it. Or you might write a letter, or you might go shopping for a person. But at the same time, you kind of create a more safe boundary for your bleeding heart so that you don't lose energy through the bleeding heart that's kind of out there all the time, there and in this country and there and in this community. Just imagine holding the space that you feel is big enough for your big heart. But it feels also more relaxed because in a way it comes more back to center. The center means like the center of your chest, in the middle of your body. Yeah. And from there the heart can reach out, you know, arm length. Whenever you consciously choose it, you send that energy, send it out to a person, and then you come back to yourself. You send out energy, maybe you act upon it, and then you come back to yourself and rest within. And that will help you to stay more connected, be grounded, you know, feeling your feet, feeling your base, the lowest part of your spine, and feel that vertical connection up to what we call the crown, at the top of your head. And this alignment, this will help you stay positive. Stay connected, stay receptive for inspiring ideas, for new things, for you to come and to really use this challenging time of social distancing for growing and expanding something new in you. So have a great day. My name is Margareta from Essence Training and Energy Balancing and see you soon.